guys, I'm Lisa for WTF Lisa Tarot. Aww. I get messages through songs. Aww. <laughs> Before I get into my spell, I'll explain the aww. So I have Love Will Keep Us Together by the Captain of Tenille. There's a picture of them with cute dogs. And then somebody cute, uh, a child popped up in my notifications and I'm like oh oh my god it's so cute right now I just started this reading and this cuteness overload and love will keep us together is playing and I don't know the song that will so bear with me uh so I'm Lisa I get messages through songs I have one ear button one ear button out like share subscribe and follow drop a dip cash up WTF Lisa Tarot you can shop my store WTF Lisa eBay it's random because it's eBay uh you can get recorded video tarot readings like this, but personalized on WTF Lisa Etsy. And phone and video chat are closed. I don't have time. Uh, WTF Lisa tarot .com is closed because issues that are beyond my control will keep us together. Uh, so I'm an energy reader more so than a tarot reader. These are just the tools to help me communicate to you what I'm seeing and hearing and everything in my head, along with the music. But I use everything around me to read. <coughs> Love will keep us together. Because everything is everything. It's connected. Blah, 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 blah. Hippie weird shit. Hippie weird shit. Why am I saying that? I don't know. Let's Let's find out why. Don't mess around, you just gotta be strong, cause stop, cause I really love you, stop. Oh, it's this energy of like, there's a lot of different energies going on right now, of course, there always is at any given time, but it's this energy of warning people and warning people, and they don't listen, and then when shit goes down, they're like, why didn't you warn me, and I'm like, I literally did, and a lot of times they're like, I agree you warned me, but... Why didn't you warn me more than once? I did. Yes. And somehow you warning them is still your fault. You warned me, but I still did it anyway. How could you let this happen? And you're like, oh my fucking God. <laughs> I really love you. Stop. I'm, my screen went blank. What is this vibe? I know you warned me, but why didn't you physically restrain me? Because that's illegal. Let's go kidnapping, asshole. What the fuck? So it's like, it doesn't matter. Everything will always be your fault. Page of Swords, Tower, Five of Cups, Nine of Swords. You were acting a fool. Someone said, hey, what this is, you're a fucking fool. This is what'll happen. Chariot, Six of Coins, and they're like, no, it won't. And then Hermit, Two of Wands, Empress, Three of Wands. I don't know. Maybe you left because you told someone, idiot, this is what's going to happen. And they're like, no, well, I'm pretty, I will be the exception. And then what you say comes to pass. In some cases, you don't even have to be intuitive to know what'll happen. If you have a friend who starts doing crack and you tell them, if you do crack, you're going to become a crackhead. And they're like, no, I'm going to become J-Lo. No, you're just going to become a crackhead. No, I'm pretty. And then later, why didn't you tell me I'm a crackhead? Oh my fucking God. I will. I will. In some cases, people don't like what you have to say. They think it's mean. But you're not saying it to be mean. You're saying it out of love. Tough love. Why? Because letting somebody continue to do crack is an example, a ridiculous example. But giving them crack doesn't mean you're friends and you love them. You're most likely trying to kill your friend. Trying to tell them to stop and go to rehab and take care of their health. You probably care about them because you want them to get well, healthy, and live. But people don't get that. No, this person gives me drugs. They like me. Okay, but I want you to live. No, you hate me. And you're just like, I fucking give up on you. I give up. I give, at this point, it might be better if you just go off to the big crack rock in the, well, in the ground. You're not going to the sky. Uh... Because I'm tired. I am fucking tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. I am tired. That's what someone is saying. I am tired. I am tired of reading signs for you. I am tired of reading things for you. I am tired of telling you the obvious and you just being like, ha da ba da ba. Ten of cups, king of cups. I mean, king of coins. King of swords, star. You're you're so pretty and perfect and four quick go go do it. Watch me. Watch me. Super bad. Parts one and two. I got it. Watch me. I got it. 
You know what? Three of you go off and do that because Ace of Swords. Telling you the truth doesn't work. Seven of the you go embarrass yourself, and in some cases they're gonna embarrass themselves right into a fucking jail cell. Sometimes you can't even tell people, okay, but that's called a crime. Five of coins, justice. They're like, no, I get to do things because I'm pretty. No, you don't. Moon, ten of wands. Some people are going to find out they are not immune to getting arrested. You have these people like Kyle Rittenhouse who thought it was okay for him to take guns, go across state lines, and just go shoot people because he wanted to. And then they let him get away with it. So then you got other people who think, well, if he can do it, I can do it. No. A trick only works once. Why am I saying this? I don't know. It ain't gonna work for you. Devil. There are certain things, page of coins, that don't work by end death. This was stupid. Anyone could have told this person this ain't gonna work, and they're like, no! I'm gonna kiss myself, he said in my ear. I got soul! Huh. And I'm super bad! No, you're not. You're just McLovin. Actually, not even that. McL McLovin was the coolest out of that group. Jonah Hill talked the most shit, and he was the, the worst, and McLovin was the coolest. And he got away with one name on his license, but no one else is going to get away with that. Just McLovin. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I talking about this? I don't know. I haven't even seen that movie in forever. I mean, Jonah Hill talked a lot of shit and he was funny, but he really just drew dicks everywhere. Intimidation, stalker, freaky shit, bully. This is an idiot who's just an idiot. They're running around like a chicken with their head cut off. A fucking weirdo. In some cases, they have a group, but fatal attraction. You got a group of idiots. Birds of a feather fuck up together, and where does it end? Jail. Death as well. Death is always involved with jail. Get me! I'm super bad. Yeah, super bad at crime, you derpy fuck. Did you, like... I just had the weirdest thought. I was talking about Jonah Hill drawing dicks everywhere and super bad. I was thinking of Hansel and Gretel with the breadcrumb trail. And I'm like, what if someone drew a, like a trail of dicks <laughs> on a point to their house? <laughs> Follow the trail of dicks to the house. The dicks point the way. <laughs> a super bad. <laughs> I'm sorry. I wish I could, uh, I wish there was a way I could show you what I'm seeing right now. It looks so funny. They're, like, drawn on the ground. Like, in that movie at the end, right, he had them, they had the drawings on, on the notebook paper, and that's how it is, but it's on the ground. It looks so ridiculous. <laughs> this isn't how it actually is. There are not literally, like, dicks drawn on the ground pointing the way to a bad guy's house. It's a representation. Uh, sometimes when I channel, I'll see ridiculous shit like that because it'll catch my attention. I won't pay attention if it's a normal, like, oh, a picture of a house. Okay, I'll forget. I won't pay attention to that. But if there's dicks pointing at him, I'll be like, wait, what the fuck? And then the story comes to me, the reality side. It's more like, here's the thing that gets your attention. I wonder if we have a flasher. And he's like, ha-da! And then he gets arrested. I heard a scream in my ear. Ah! And then dun 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 dun. Oh! Come on! <clears throat> Who is this motherfucker? It's a collective vibe too, because there's a lot of people like this. Hive mind NPCs, so they're on a script, so there's like a million of them. All doing the same shit, two swords at the same time, and they will be deleted at the same time from the system. If you know what I mean. If you're in the, you know. That's your joint. If you're on the uh, Bible joint, they'll be smited. I'm super bad. Whatever you believe in, they're taken out. It's all the same. <clears throat> Cautionary tales and their story is about to end. I love myself enough to walk away. I know more than you think. Super bad. Follow the trail of dicks. <laughs> Hansel and Gretel. I forgive you. I wish you would come back. No. If there's a trail of dicks, then there's probably a trail of herpes. I have hard to handle by the black crows. ba da 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 ba da 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 One time I was, it was weird. I didn't know this was a remake. 
And then I had heard a version that Otis Redding did. And I, if I remember correctly, he passed away in the 50s from, in a plane crash. Uh, so clearly, the Black Crows did not originate that song. <laughs> I don't know if he did either, but I want to say he did. But And then I was tripped out. I was watching this movie. I can't remember what it was called. Uh, it's an old movie, I want to say from the 60s. And it had Raquel Welch, uh, a man named Rex Reed, who was a... Uh, I think that was his name. He was a movie critic, but he was in this movie. Um, and then it had Mae West. And Mae West, like, that, why don't you come up and see me sometime, lady? And she sang this song. And there was no point at all for the musical number. She just sang it. I was like, okay, this is happening. And sometimes when the song comes on, I will hear... Uh, Chris Robinson, the singer from the Black Crows. I will picture Mae West, but his voice comes out of her mouth. Todd the Hunter now, Mr. Rambo, don't know. Yeah. All the honey now. I said all the honey now, but he said hard to handle now. Why didn't that come out of my mouth? Baby, here I am. I'm the man on the scene. Uh, baby, here I am, the man on your scene. But I feel like it's more like a first responder on the scene. It was the first one here on the scene. Can I get, you know, I just, crime scene and ambulance. Knight of Cups, Eight of Coins, Hangman. Idiot's gonna idiot. Idiot's gonna hit idiot. Hard to handle, first responders. 